Hi, my name is Les Thomas of Maximum Win, and I'm the inventor of the Tale of Freedom Seat. I guess I should have one, huh? Hi, my name is Les Thomas of Maximum Win, and I'm the inventor of the Tale of Freedom Seat. And today I'm going to uh, complete the review of the Brazos Hitchhiker Walking Stick. Um, and uh, I've already posted the how well it was balanced. It's an amazing walking stick. It's got fantastic uh, quality. Um, it does have a feature where it has a narrow side and a wide side. So uh, from a strength uh, purpose, you would want to put your pressure against the narrow side. You're validating a stick, maybe you can see, there's a bit of flex. Okay, let's free him seat in my pocket here. If we go on the left side, there's minimal, minimal flex. So I guess what I'll go ahead and demonstrate first is that uh, I can go ahead and sit on the stick. So put the first anchor on one side and then you got this narrow flap so it fits perfectly with the anchor. So we can fit that on the pole behind you. Um, I've already validated this pole. Put the other anchor on top of the first. Start to uh, lean forward into the hiking stick and then as you have tension in your straps you can fan out the seat around your buttocks and then once you feel comfortable you can start to with uh, put your legs out and get a nice wide stance and rest comfortably um, so I weigh 250 this hiking stick is supporting me without issue uh, I trust it um, so the Taylor Freedom Seat comes in three models there's the the walker is about five ounces the hiker which is about uh, four ounces in a lifetime which weighs about three ounces the walker and the hiker are both rated for 300 pounds in a lifetime uh, up to 400 pounds so i thought about this stick and i and wouldn't necessarily recommend it for anybody heavier than me so i i was thinking is that what would be a good a walking stick to recommend for uh, persons larger than 250 pounds and I thought, well, not necessarily trekking poles would be the, the right option, but these walking sticks are pretty amazing. Let me just set this down. And I thought, wow, if I had a pair of these, they would make a nice pair of trekking poles. So I went ahead and I bought another set. The first box came in something like this, not a small package at, at all. Second one I ordered, in a little bit of a bigger box. So we're gonna go ahead and unpackage that now and see uh, if there's anything different. I can hear it uh, banging around inside. I don't think that would cause any damage. Yep, that's it. The only thing that's in here is another hitchhiker or walking stick. It, it, it is it's beautifully crafted it really is nice um, you know, I got the same height and let's see here Philip Lancaster again uh, this one is handcrafted by Philip uh, as far as comfort in the hand it feels fantastic whether you would want the curve uh, facing backwards so your hand can rest against this um, protruding piece of the wood which is very very nice or if you'd want to have it facing forward and then you could have your fingers on that piece it's a personal preference I think I like the curvature this way with the uh, the knob facing forward it's a very comfortable feel in my hands so um, let's go ahead and, and use a, a pair of walking sticks with the tail of freedom seat in the advanced method so um, first we're going to go ahead and uh, go through the uh, pole validation process. I'm sure this one is going to be fine, but I just took it out of the box, so I should make sure that it will support my weight. So we'll set the other one down for, for a moment. So again, so with a walking stick, um, what I'm doing is actually with a walking stick is introducing um, the method that Anthony Harton used in his video. I remember, uh, if you haven't seen it, Anthony Harton, 77 years old, and maybe coming out 
and putting your full weight on a stick isn't um, something that you're physically capable of doing, which is fine. Uh, what he did, uh, which I thought was fantastic, is he put it up against his body and he put a lot of pressure into it. So even if I bend on the side, you can see it flexes a little bit, as I already mentioned, not the way you want to use this uh, particular walking stick. Um, but you could put your walking stick on the side, or this one for that matter, and just really put as much um, inertia or energy into the pole this way to see what kind of flex you can get. And you'll get a really good feel if, if you are going to be able to trust this walking stick with your weight. So if I'm hiking, I, I don't necessarily um, stuff this back in to uh, itself. I'll just put the whole thing in my pocket. I find that that's uh, much easier to use and then it's ready to go. But um, for those of you who may not be using it as frequently as, as I need to when I'm hiking, you fold up one side and stuff it into one of the anchors, stuff the seat into one of the anchors. And then you take that first anchor and then you can stuff that into the other anchor. And then the straps that are dangling, you can just stuff those into the side. And there we go. And so when you want to use it, we can go ahead and just pull it apart. So let me grab my uh, uh, walking stick. So I have a pair of Brazos Hitchhiker walking sticks that I've purchased. Um, so far they've been just beautiful sticks as I've already demonstrated. Uh, I can sit on this stick without any issue. Um, but uh, you know what about the option for somebody who's a bit larger than me um, or doesn't want to have a, a pole in the middle of their um, private area. So. We're going to take two uh, walking sticks. We're going to get our tail of freedom seat ready. And the method is the advanced method. We've already validated both poles. We know that they're going to hold us. We put one anchor on top of one walking stick, another anchor on top of the other walking stick. And we take and we put one behind us. And then we put the tips of the walking sticks, walking the tips of the walking sticks, at our heels, and then we lean forward into the anchors, creating tension in the straps. And when we have tension in the straps, it's very easy to fan out the seat. If you don't have tension, then you're just moving this fabric around and it dangles, and you don't find um, the comfortable spot right away. But if you lean into these anchors. If you lean into the anchors, then you can easily um, feel that it's uh, secure. Then in this position, you actually, for me, I can dangle um, the weight of my upper body. I can already feel uh, pressure come off my knees. Um, and for me, that, that is the uh, key point. And the reason why uh, the, this uh, Taylor Freedom Seat uh, was invented because um, I needed to be able to rest my knees. Anyway. So once you're in this position, uh, leaning forward, then you lean forward and step forward. And as you step forward and bring your other foot forward, doesn't matter right foot or left foot, then you find yourself in a seated position. Um, very nice. So let's go through that whole thing again. First thing you wanna do is validate your walking aids. Whether they're hiking sticks, whether they're trekking poles, or whether it's a single hiking stick, you need to make sure that you can trust your life to this. So once you validate your walking sticks, in this case, um, I've got a pair. You put one anchor over the top end of one walking stick, and another anchor over the top of the other walking stick. Then you take one of those and put it behind you and you put the tips at your heels. Lean forward into the anchors creating tension in the straps. When you feel the straps are tight 
that'll make it much easier to fan the seat out nicely around your backside. You can lean forward, already feel pressure off your knees at this point, leaning forward. The sticks are secure, the anchors are secure in the top of the poles. Nothing's gonna fly out because you have your hands forward. So lean forward, step forward, and it doesn't matter, right foot or left foot, step forward, step forward again, and then you're just gonna rest into the seat. So some people have said, wow, that's gonna be really nice until the sticks poke through and jab you in the face. Well, it's not gonna happen with these. If you are within the rated weight limits, so on the, the, on the walkers or the hikers, you're 300 pounds or less, or if you have a lifetime version and you're 400 pounds or less, a non-sharpened end is not gonna poke through these. Um, we've done the strength tests on this. I've loaded over 600 pounds on a single anchor on the end of a uh, Olympic barbell, or we have. I had help from uh, Chris Merritt of BSP. Thanks you very much, Chris. And he loaded up, actually, um, the weights, and we had over 600 pounds on a single anchor. You know, safety is extremely important. Uh, I have, uh, in earlier on in life, been a rock climber. I've made climbing gear, repaired climbing gear, not only for myself, but climbing gear that the lives of my friends, family, and others depended on. Uh, this is, tends to be comfortable uh, because I can lean forward. Also helps me rest my back. I've had that, uh, that problem. If you've seen Sunny D's um, video uh, where he talks about being able to rest his back, um, that, that is what I'm feeling because I'm leaning forward. You don't want to lean back, there's nothing there. But you can lean forward. And yes, your legs are somewhat engaged. Um, but it's, it's very, very relaxing. Uh, in one of the tests that I did in this particular setup in the advanced model, um, we did this uh, at BSP again. Uh, Chris Merritt verified I'm 255 pounds. While I was sitting, there was only 50 pounds of weight registering on the scale. So I was taking over 200 pounds of weight off of my legs, putting them onto the system. So yes, my legs are engaged, but they're really only supporting about 20%, which is a huge uh, rest. And um, yeah, it's, it's very comfortable. So back to the uh, Brazos uh, walking sticks. I'm really liking them. If you're, if you're a big person, uh, I would suggest getting two. Uh, they're very reasonable. So uh, take a look. Um, highly recommend them. And, and I bought these myself. Uh, so uh, I'm not getting any kickback from Brazos whatsoever. Um, I did contact them early on asking them uh, which one of their uh, products was the strongest. And they said they're oak and they're hickory. So they have a nice line of products to take a look at. But um, these are the Brazos Hitchhiker. Um, and I, I'm giving them an A+. I, I think they're fantastic. Thank you very much. Take a load off.